Good evening and welcome to another episode of It's Okay with Tam Tam. I have my husband with me today. Thank you for coming. Of course. I love you. Yeah, you do. So um, before we get started, um, please like and follow us on It's Okay with Tam Tam the, on Facebook page. Also go to and subscribe to our YouTube channel, It's Okay with Tam Tam. So today we're going to talk about anxiety. Um, people that have been following and watch know that I have been dealing with a lot of anxiety um, for years now. And so we can just kind of talk about how we deal and manage some of the anxieties and kind of how you help me out. I'm her security blanket. She can't go anywhere without me. She has to hold me close yes to help him with his anxiety with her anxiety and before we go on i apologize for the poor lighting as you um i told you guys it's last our shading is different so the lighting is off <laughs> no because we are have packed up half of our house which included my lighting and my craft stuff um because we are trying to sell this house so um i apologize for the very poor light Oh, we have all the lights on too. Except for the hallway light, there's a light bulb. It's the other the uh, light switch. Uh, That's the right one. There it is. Uh, oh, that made it even worse. I look like a the black now, spot. Now you're darker. The middle one there. No, there it was the go. one on the <clears> end. <throat> so apologize for the for for the poor lighting. Anyway, so as you know, last session, I did start to have some anxiety during my, um, you got a string hanging out. is it a string or my hair? It's a string. Oh, I started to kind of have anxiety. So after the last session, so I got off and I kind of went down and I talked to him and had to do some deep breathing, um, to kind of help myself out. So he does provide me with security, um, sometimes sometimes it's just stuff that that i kind of got to work through in my head so do you know when my anxiety is high sometimes i don't think it's as, as, as it's not as um obvious sometimes as others um so what do i do when not when when um you bet you tell me most of the time you say, hey, my anxiety is up. I can't tell, like, because your moods don't really change as much. You know, it's just, you're, I mean, you're as time when you're stressed out, but that's not anxiety. That's stressed out. Those are two different things. So when you're, when you, when you're having, like, a problem with anxiety, you become more submissive, right? You, you, you don't, you don't, you don't have an attitude and get mad. You do the opposite. Um, now, when you're stressed out, that's when you get, mad and angry and have low tolerance and all that stuff that's different different from you can't blame anxiety for having an attitude not yours at least so it's different 
So I went to my counselor the last session. And so I was telling her about that. And so she's asking me, yeah, she says I am burnt out um, for just all the stuff that's going on. And I'm supposed to take time out for myself, which yesterday I was supposed to go get my nails done. Cause I think the last time I got my feet done, Zoe was a baby, an infant, infant, like a couple months old. That's when I got released from my mom allowed me to leave the house. I think that was it. It's been months and months. She's 10 months. Oh, mm. so, yeah. but I didn't do it. Self-inflicted. What's self-inflicted? Not going to the nail place. No. Yeah. No, because we had to yeah. run around with mommy. I'm talking about since the baby being born. So I can't say that. I can't. You do not like leaving the baby, period. Because there's times where you could you could go and I can watch the baby and you'll have your time. But you just won't do it. So it's only recently because now she's eating more table food. Because before she was only breastfeeding and it was like every couple hours. Okay. And she doesn't take a pacifier. I'm her pacifier. So, but now she's doing better. I'm trying to wean her off. How old is the baby? She's 10 months. How long has it been since you've been able to get away? Probably eight months. So in that eight month time frame, you could have gone and got your nails done. So something I need to work on somehow. Yeah. All right. Well, you go on the trip and when you come back, I'll get my nails done the following weekend. Okay. Oh no. Cause Brianna has her um, prom that weekend. So maybe you go out that morning, both of you, and get your nails done. No, because we got to get our hair done and okay. and her, the makeup. Like we got to get her all dolled up. Okay. And she's wearing sneakers. What? Yeah, she's wearing sneakers. With that dress? Yes. Come on now. She is. It's a beautiful dress. Yeah, so I don't know why we spent the money. We should have just got a sweatsuit. No, 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 no. I mean, people have done that. People have worn wedding dress and wore Converse sneakers. She's not wearing Converse sneakers, but people have done that. She's she's gonna do her thing. She's what? marching to her own beat. Mm, yeah, marching Rick. to her own beat. So I know when I am to my max to do stuff that I like to do. Um, it is difficult now, but I do like to take a nap, which sometimes that's difficult. And I do like doing the crafts, but I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get there. I'm going to get there. I'm, I'm going to do better. That's fair. Yeah. What do you like to do when your anxiety is out? I like to be left alone. That's what I like. And I, I don't consider what I have anxiety. Now, there's times I have anxiety. I have PTSD. And so, to me, anxiety is, P P is, is different from, like, when my when my PTSD kicked in. It's fight or flight. It's kind of your my That's adrenaline's yeah. going. That's anxiety. I have a very short fuse. I just want to be left alone. Or... I can ex if I exercise, that helps me as well. That helps me, um, but I just like to be left alone. I'm finding now golf is helping me because it you have to relax when you golf, and so uh, I'm finding that to be an outlet. Uh, so I'm trying to learn that. Uh, but when I'm when I get anxiety, like I'll just you know you can just be driving on the road and all of a sudden you know you, you start feeling anxious, like the tightness of your chest and all that. I don't have all the irritableness and all that. I, I get more, I guess, submissive more um, in that, uh, when in that type of episode, because I'm scared. You know, it's like, what the hell's I going think on? it depends on. So, a lot of times when his I think anxiety. We classify different things. You know, we, we, we try to bucket everything in one bucket, and I don't think that's, that's accurate. Okay, but even with your anxiety, PTSD, whatever you want to call it, I typically know before you know. 
Yeah, I mean, one, you're trained, but two, I, I, I show I'm a very, I don't hide my feelings. I don't hide anything. It's, it's very apparent. And I get very fidgety and all that. Um, I mean, you know, it's, again, your adrenaline's kicking in. So today, if you got home, was it anxiety or PTSD? I was pissed off when I got home. That's what happened today. It was anxiety. No, I was pissed off. And then even like, so my husband had the joy of celebrating his birthday on Mother's Day. Yeah, the joy. And so, and so we, our goal is to do something in a couple of weeks. Well, I'm going out of town, so he's go yeah, he's going out of town this weekend. So next weekend I'm hoping to do something, but he doesn't like he doesn't like to have stuff all about him. A big shebang party and that. So we'll keep it light and something for him to show our appreciation for him. But we were out when we were out, what was that? BTXD or anxiety? When we were out. That was at the hibachi. That was PTSD. So you present the same when your anxiety is high and when your PTSD flares up. And I can see, and he's going to say, oh, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. I mean, I, I know. when I say I'm fine, I know something. I, I, I realize that something is triggered, but I have it handled. I just need to be left alone. But, it, but I'm not going to say, oh, well, you know, this is gone. Because no, there's no need for that. But especially in a public place, if, it I, is need, a if need. I remove myself from it, you know what's going on. I don't need to explain it. No, but you you do need to say, yeah, or you can say anxiety, you can say PTSD, and then I will know how to help you because like when you were trying to leave and I'm like, no, leave the baby here. Then if you would have said anxiety and I would have said, OK. OK, we'll have a code word or a signal. We'll but you know, a, a lot of couples that work that, with that's like what so, they're doing the baseball. Whatever. So I work with a lot of veterans with PTSD. Stop. I like I work with a lot of veterans with PTSD. And so some of them and PTSD has broken up and anxiety has broken up a lot of marriages. But one of the things is is that for the marriages that worked and they work with the PTSD, the wife, they they had a cold word, one to help. Because sometimes he doesn't even realize that his anxiety is going up. And the, the whole point of learning a lot of stuff like deep breathing and stuff is to manage the anxiety before you're a 10 out of 10. So when I'm seeing your anxiety is up and you're at like a five, you can start doing stuff and you're not even realizing it. Then, then they, they use a code word to, you know, signify, OK, I see your anxiety is going up. You need help because a lot of times you don't realize it. And this is this is his attitude. If you watch other videos, you'll what see. Attitude? No, 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 no. You'll see a difference in his behavior now. I've been and enjoying you, this And you episode. will see him. I'm look, just, I'm look just at, more serious because we're talking about. It doesn't matter if we're talking about something. Topic. It doesn't even matter if we're I talking about something serious. All this video. No, you have and not. We have one you moment have of, one or two of, jokes. Of, of, of serious conversation. Watch videos like how we met or this mm -hmm. is why I love you. And, and you'll see. And listen to the content in which we're discussing and compare it to now. She's going to listen to this again as well. And she'll see. Does I mean, she? No. I mean, you will need to see. I mean. No. I mean. And you will see the difference. I mean. We need to this. put a poll up. See if people think so. I wish I knew how to put a put a poll mm -hmm. up so people. Oh, don't be on the poll. Hey. So, do you know Zoe was so our 10 month old? We have a little bouncer thing and she does her little dance where she bounces. And the little girl was hanging on the pole. Yeah, she was just trying to hold herself up. She no, was, she was dancing. Yeah, don't don't say my daughter's gonna dance on the pole. I didn't say she was going to dance on the pole. I said that's what she did on her bouncer. I'm not saying that's what she's going to do. Do y'all know my baby is 10 months old and has hips? Like her mama. What baby has hips at 10 months old? Your baby. Well, that's the only one. But the ladies in my family have hips too. I understand. So she's it from both. I understand that. No but choice. it usually don't, it usually happens maybe 
you know, when they start picking up a little weight after they walk maybe in the third grade or even when they hit puberty. But ba all babies are fat. When she hits puberty, usually, you know, people start getting hips. She's 10 months old with hips. Mm. You know something that triggers my anxiety? What? So we have a baby monitor um, and it beeps. So it goes um, to sleep per se. It goes to sleep and when she's quiet. And if she wakes up or she makes a noise or if a loud car drives by and makes a noise, it the alarm goes beep, beep, beep. And then it the camera comes on. That I swear has caused me. I don't know why. Because you're on high alert. So when that goes off, you go on high alert. No. But it like makes my chest hurt. Like because you're on high alert. You think something's going on. And then I think I told you about it. This was months ago though. Like I was <laughs> really sorry. He knows I can't stand feet, and he decides to put his foot on my foot. I can't stand feet. So the other day, I was it was months ago, I was laying in bed, and I was I had a panic attack, and it was from a thought in my head. I don't know if you ever had that. And it was like a random thought. I I just envisioned myself being trapped in the cave underwater. And I ended up having a panic attack. Have you ever, has that ever happened to you? I've never been in a cave full of water. I've never been in a cave full of water. If I was in a cave full of water and I was underwater, I'd probably freak out because it would be dark and I couldn't find my way out. So I'd probably have a panic My point is. Or, or, or at least be <laughs> struggling and stressed out trying to get out. My point is, has, has like, uh, anything like that happened to you where you, you just you're sitting there you're fine you're you, you know your mind your business nothing's going on and you just Were have you a red no oh, you're awake and thinking this. yeah so it wasn't even like i had a dream that it, i was like a random thought hmm. has it ever happened to you i have random thoughts where i'm kind of like role-playing stuff in my head of how things would go and it'll set me off like if i think about like a situation yeah like if I think about our HOA, and if I went and confronted somebody, something no, like that. No, no. And then I stop. start re role Would playing it stop. through my whole head. Stop. And it gets me, it gets me wound up. Yeah. Well, that's a little different. That's like partially what your stuff that you're dealing or with. You're like I've driving, never been driving to work, and you're kind of anticipating what's going to happen today. You start role playing it out in your head. And it gets you worked up like it's actually happening. That kind of stuff makes sense. But I'm just like, I've never been in a cave. Full of water? No, it was like an underwater cave. Mm. So, note to everyone, don't go into underwater caves. You may get trapped. I don't even know how I got there. Mm. Maybe the cave, an underwater cave is representative of your life. And you feel trapped and overwhelm. The water is the overwhelming part of it, and the cave is the trap part of it. And that's what happened. You're a mess. I bet it's true. Ask your counselor. All right. And if I'm right, I'll charge you $110. Really? For deciphering the dream. I yeah. know you got it, too. Yeah. It's your mommy found it in your, in your pants. <laughs> My mom comes down and, and my mom is so every, CD with the laundry. She washes the clothes that you're wearing while you're wearing them. <laughs> she she washes all our the clothes. Like she comes in like that's her joy. She loves to wash clothes. Right. Exactly. Which I appreciate it. Yes, I appreciate it. Yes. So she will come and wash the clothes, but the crazy you part is you you can't. Literally, she's asking like the not, she left today. And so last night she comes in the room. She's like, Tamara, um, we miss her already. Yes. Mm -hmm. She's like, Tamara. So, um, um, she told me when I took my clothes off, put them directly into the washer. Yeah. Machine. That's what she told me because mm -hmm. she said, I need those clothes to finish making a load. Then she was trying to find some more clothes around the house. I was like, mom, we don't have any more clothes. I was like, it's okay. She said, but I don't have enough to make a load. I say, but it's okay. Then you're, you're finished washing. She's like, no, because there's more clothes. It's like, but you don't have enough. It's okay. She just. 
Uh, washing machine adjusts to the load, by the way, so it doesn't matter how large or small the load is. But for her, she wants to make sure when she leaves, all the laundry is done, so Tamara doesn't have to worry about that. Yeah, she tries to take yeah. the load off because she's always yeah. saying I'm doing too much. Yeah. So this is what happened today with my mom. So I'm trying. We're trying to get everything together because jo Zoe has to go to the little gym. I have to go take my mom to the to the to the airport. And my mom is stressing about finishing the last load of the laundry. And we got to try to leave on time. And we got to try to make that, sure the house is presentable just in case somebody wants to uh, look at the house. We don't want to have a whole bunch to do the last minute. So my mom, I'm, the way our house is set up, I'm in the kitchen. It's a big open area. And the stairs come down. And you can't see anything until you get to the walkway. And I'm doing the laundry. I'm doing the, the dishes. And then all of a sudden I hear, boom, 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 boom. And I'm like, what the heck happened? So my mom, she falls down the stairs, basically. And she's laying on the floor. And she's like, oh, I'm all right, I'm all right. I'm like, mom, you're laying on the floor. All I saw was she, she, when she fell on the floor down the stairs, she slid into the back door. And I'm like, mom. And she's like, oh, no, no, I'm OK, I'm OK. I was like, mom, you just slid down this. I don't even know where she slid from, how many stairs or whatever. He's, I'm telling, trying to tell him, he's like, well, how many stairs or where, how did she fall? I don't know. All I know is I just saw her legs slide into the door. That's all I saw. And so, <laughs> so I'm like, okay, mom. So she's laying out on the floor. I'm like, mom, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I just need to rest. I'm like, mom, no, I need to make sure you're okay. So I need to see you get up. So mind you, she's on the floor in her dress with her socks on. So she was like, oh, just, just him. I, I guess she slid out of the slide. So she has slides for in the house because I don't like I don't let people wear their shoes on the carpet in the house. So I said, well, mom, she said, hand me my slides so I can put on, on my slides. I said, they're slides. This is what you slid down in your slides. And I said, just take your socks off. She said, well, and she's trying to stand up in the slides as her feet are sliding. I was like, you can't do that. So I said, I said mom, just take off your socks. She said, well, I oiled up my feet too. So I was like, oh Lord, how in the world are we gonna get her off the floor? So we gave her her sneakers and she put her sneakers on and she was finally able to stand up. And I was like, just keep your sneakers on. Just go up and just don't take your shoes off. So now she's sore. Cause she's like, oh, I'll be fine. So her knee and her thigh are sore. It could have been bad. It could have been. So we are fortunate, but I'm like, we've both fallen on the steps. I I fell twice when I was pregnant and once with the baby. Yeah. And each I'm, time, I I have I have you just slide on. I slide. I've slid and I fell on my bottom. So now I have issues with my tailbone which did x-ray no no fracture but it's bruise i guess i don't know but if it was a fracture there's nothing they can do you can't put a cast on your tailbone but i know it hurts so anyway in the midst of all that i got her off to the airport she has a limp now got the baby to the little gym she was a little cranky but we got through it and came back home and managed and cleaned up and fit. Don got dinner for us today. Thank you. Appreciate mm -hmm. it. You're welcome. A little, a little anxious, PTSD, perturbed, however you no, want to say it. Off. You know, this is, I think for me, with having PTSD, the one thing that really bothers me is when everything is labeled as PTSD. You just can't get me regular pissed off. It's always PTSD. Sometimes you're just regular pissed off because somebody did something to make you pissed off. It's a difference between being upset. It's, it's, it's how you handle it. And then how you can get upset for small stuff. And then it's blown up like this. I'm just saying. Okay. Just, okay, take for example, we were riding on the street in a car. Dom was driving. And a car cut us off. Most people will blow the horn or, you know, be upset. What did you do? I slowed the car down, waved to the gentleman and said, please, you know, drive safely. No. 
somebody put the pedal to the metal and was chasing the car and i had to calm him down that's so the, that's the result of yes that was the that triggered my fight or flight or whatever they call it so yeah. my point is is like i wasn't gonna do anything i just, I just, re I just reacted so it was a bad why, a bad why chase somebody shouldn't have done that shouldn't have done that <laughs> but that's different anyway um, yes so and then you have stuff that's triggers that that, that are typically true triggers with somebody i know a trigger for me is finances having any kind of conversation about money and finances stresses the crap out of me but stress and ptsd can be two different that's my point is there are certain things that are result of ptsd result of a traumatic event and there's certain things that are just they're who you are. They stress you out. They piss you off. Whatever. Well, no. According to the counselor, that's probably a trigger for my PTSD because right. of 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 being that I lived and I well, was maybe, maybe, in yeah. poverty. Maybe that yeah, that, that could be something. Because you don't want to go back to that. I no, that. I can't. And I it's, it's, but no one's ever really cut me off and killed me. So somebody cutting me off has nothing to do with any. I mean that. But my response to it, yes, I, I get that. That's part of PTSD. Yeah, yeah, I get that. But so, you know, me coming home, stopping getting food, and coming home with the food, and then having to, you know, do all that—that that just just pissed me off. That's not my PTSD. You were fine. But I, literally... I was a little irritable because where I had to park my car had me dealing with some when, people that pissed me off when you walked that, when yes. you walked in the door it was like and we were just on the phone and you're calm peaceful whatever but when you walked in the door it was already like you no, were when already, i walked in i was cool i was playing with the baby and the damn dog has the bar she won't leave me alone she just but the, and, okay like, our dog let me just come home and have a our dog is not, a yapper you've been with I me for did, five I, years yes and there are days when you come home you just want a moment. You just you just need a moment. I understand and that. I, I, don't, I don't. I didn't get that. You. I didn't get that. Because the dog. The we dog were, is a Zoe, yapper, and the dog. No problem. The dog is a yapper, and she's been doing this since we met. Yeah, and she doesn't leave me alone. She follows me, and she looks at me. She just stares at me like she wants something. And I. You're and, her boyfriend, so she's and, like she's in love with you. Nothing to do. For Where is she at? She probably ran down the stairs because you started yelling. No, because if he sneezes, talk. It never fails. Every time he sneezes, the dog gets up and takes off and runs down the stairs. It never fails. But anyway, that's your. Yeah, we are very anxious. She's on. She's on medicine for her anxiety. She don't ever take the medicine. <laughs> she does oh, no, sometimes. She We're doesn't. not on medicine. No. No, I have to go and do stuff for myself. Yeah. It's behavioral management. Yes. And I have to and I have to learn to set limits. She I don't me. do anything. I don't breathe. I don't do anything. I just let it take its course. No, you have your pins, which you haven't done in a while. You have your your golf that you like to do. You like to go to the shooting range, which you haven't done in a while. So you I'm, have stuff. I'm not really doing anything. No, the golf. You just went to the thing, the range today. No, I didn't. You didn't make it out there? I went to the golf store. Did, I'm just saying. Bought some golf balls. But you didn't, you didn't, but you I didn't, did not you didn't hit any? No. No. I didn't sometimes have, he'll I go. Didn't have time to. Sometimes he'll go during lunch. Yes, I will. Sometimes I go during lunch. Yes. And, and hit balls. So, hit but balls. he has, he has something. I, I don't, balls. I don't, I don't really get that. It's because your craft stuff's packed up. Yeah. Yeah. You do need something. You do. You, do, you definitely need something an outlet outside of me, because I am an outlet myself. He he does when he knows that I am to my limit. He does step in and he makes sure that like everything. He will. He hates doing the dishes, but he will do the dishes for me if he needs to and. He would do the laundry. He's like, just sort sort them out because he knows because them a little. Seventeen year old that lives here doesn't do the dishes. She does. Yeah, she should. She but does do the dishes. She, she typically does them every evening. Every night she does them. So yeah. There's really not dishes to be done. Not much. Except the last but sometimes, couple days. Sometimes I understand, and I had to come to this realization. Like I'm burnt out. 
she's burned out. I agree. And her days are longer than our days. Yeah. Monday, she went to school at 7 a.m. Because she had to do testing and all that kind of stuff. And then she had rehearsals and everything. She didn't finish till 9 p.m. That's a 14-hour day. Mm -hmm. Then she has to get up the next day. And she goes in her regular time, which I used to drop her off at 8.15. And, and then she, today was a short day. So she finished at 6.30, rehearsal at 6.30. But this last week, she was at school every night to 9, 9, 9.30. Mm -hmm. She has a full load. Now, she's typically doing a 12-hour yeah, day. Was here, so she didn't have to do anything. No, but th but but this is not like this just started. Mm -hmm. Like when she's having rehearsals and all this kind of stuff, and it's like the realization, like I have these expectations for her. Like she needs to get this 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 done. And I'm I'm saying to myself, like when people hear my schedule, they're like, oh, I'm just exhausted listening to your schedule. And I had to realize she's exhausted from that. Like she's she's burnt down. Which when she went in that school that had some parents tell me that your child is going to be burnt out because they do so much. Her school is very demanding. They All these kids have their talent. So whether it's theater, dance, music, or visual arts, they have their stuff that they have to do. But they also have a, a strenuous um, school load that they do. Most of them are in pre-AP, AP classes, dual credit. So they have to keep up with that, plus these long rehearsals so her anxiety is up too. And now she's getting ready to go for college. But another parent also said when they go to college, it's going to be a lot easier for them. So. She's got the whole summer. Though. But she's going to be working. No, show me wants her to. Um, show me don't have a damn say or nothing. <laughs> show me wants. Show me does not get to show, she, has, she has private violin lessons mm -hmm. and she gets trained by the violinist at the Dallas Symphony Orchestra. Um, and the, her lessons teacher loves her. And yeah, she wants to continue lessons. Yeah, that's fine, but she doesn't get to dictate everything. And that's where you got to step in and say, no, she needs the break from here or she needs this break. She needs, you know, that, that's and she didn't get a break last summer yeah. or the summer before that. She hasn't had a break. She's She's gone straight through for three years. Break from lessons. Yeah, I mean, her going to campus should be a break for her. That's what she wants to do. Yeah, I don't know, because it's still like structured. It's not like she's just doing it for fun. It was very structured. Well, she went there because she wanted to. That's fun. Yeah, because she That's was like trying to get to a first chair, and she, but she made went, it. If I went to a golf clinic thing, I'd be playing golf all day. It would be strenuous, but it could be fun. So, so your tournament's so going to be fun. It's going to be a break. Hopefully. It's going to be a break. Oh, yeah, I'm looking forward to being. Yeah. It'll so. be strenuous, but it'll be fun. So to me, it's a break. So all in all, <clears throat> when you have anxiety or you just upset or your PTSD, what would you need from me to help you through it? I don't know. Just leave me alone, I guess. You, you do. What, what? You do this all the time. I do what? Give me my space or whatever. That's all. Okay. You leave me out. That's what you normally do. Okay. Well. I mean, you know this. We, we do this. Now, when you're when you're at the play, you can't deal with my stuff like you do when you're when you're okay. That's anybody. You said what now? When you're okay, it's easier for you to deal with my stuff. Right. But when you're not okay, like now, when you're when we're all overwhelmed, you don't have the tolerance that you need to deal with my stuff. Yeah. Right. I mean that that's everybody. But yeah. that's that's not a fault on you or a fault on me. It's just reality of our life. So Yeah, so we, we all we need a vacation. We work through it. Yeah, but I don't want to continue to just work through it. That's one it's thing just, I'm learning it's just from time, the it's life. Not, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You're it's shaking just my life. Chair. I mean, right now, no, we're, we're trying not, to do a lot of things right now. It is, but it's not just like, like I'm talking to the count, like she, like, I, talk, I I have come to the realization, like, I don't even know what it is to just 
to sit and be content then because we just, then we don't need to buy this house. We that's not what I'm talking are. about. Well, because my thing is, if we don't buy this house, we don't do this. I will add something else. Like I have to get to the point where when you're watching this video, take note of who is not like they were on our first video. Just saying. I have talked about some she, serious she, stuff she, on here. She's a little elevated. Yes, because I've been dealing with anxiety. Hmm. Yes, that's what I'm telling you. And you're saying no, I'm fine. I was talking about a very serious subject. And so I was displaying. So anyway, I have the tendency to add on and make sure my plate is full. And I'm so I'm working on not adding on. So one of the things is not me not signing up for any other college classes. I think that's lovely. I've been telling you that for five years. I understand that. And 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 I and I but you, you know you're communicating like you're telling me like I've been putting stuff on you. No, I no, you. I'm not saying that you put I just said I'm like just I have the, the tendency. No, I just said I have the tendency to just keep adding to my plate. And I have to learn how to stop. So my point, my point that I was saying, because we were just talking about like this is just life no it's it's a life that i created like i haven't created mm -hmm. a life where i sit down and enjoy yeah, it yeah i'm not saying we continue this i'm just saying this season we have we do too much too soon understand you you're know, saying we, you're saying this season i'm saying this is how i've been functioning yeah. since college yeah. since high school mm -hmm. and i have to try to change it mm -hmm. because the same token, I'm seeing Brianna doing the same exact thing. And then when she told me the other day, I'm functioning. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing I tell the therapist. I'm mm -hmm. functioning. That's what you do. You raised her what you know. Yeah, but I don't want her to function. I want her to to be I want her to be successful, but I want her to have her time so that she's not Give me back my time. <laughs> so she's not she's not functioning. I want her to live. Yeah. And that's my mission. And on that note, we're out. We're going to finish. Because I, I got to get up. My tailbone's hurt. Anyway. So, anyway, for all the people that are out there that are watching this, please um, follow me. I will continue to do these videos. Uh, like I say, in July, around mid-July, we should be hopefully in the new house. I have everything set up so we can have cameras, bring the guests back do some crafts, have all that going so we can have a bigger and better show. But as for now, you're stuck with dim lighting until I get my stuff unpacked. So again, like, follow It's Okay with Tam Tam on Facebook. Also on, um, um, you subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you anybody has any topics or questions that they want us to discuss just private message me and we can see what we can do about it all right so you guys have a wonderful night